everyone this is Kiri with another layout for Bramble Fox and for this layout I'm using a couple of the fab sets from the winter collection the first one here that you see is called festive words and the mini pine set so there you go you'll see I had some stars out as well actually but I didn't end up using any of the stars on the layout in the end so I've pulled out a couple of pattern papers from the Photo Play Frostival collection because I thought they, I like the fact that it had some red in it and I'm using those three words, um, ugly, fuzzy, sweater from the festive word set that are obviously in um, red as you can see there on um, next to the layer. So I'm just cutting this down into strips because the idea is I'm going to use strips down the um, the layout as a background focus behind my two photos. So um, like always, I'm just distressing all of the edges um, on each of the strips and then I'm just going to sort of basically play around and decide um, how they're all going to sit. So I'll um, sort of see what colours I want to add where. But I'm effectively going to have strips above the photos and strips below, as you can see here, um, all set. And I'm um, just looking at where I'm going to add the perspective. So ugly fuzzy sweater there on the right. And then I'm using just those three mini pines in that um, sort of olivey green, um, just just the three of them. So now I'm just going to um, lightly stick these down, um, the, the strips down that is, because I've actually decided I'm going to just stitch through them with some gold thread. I thought it'd be nice to add a bit of sparkle because it is a Christmas layout. So here we go. They're all stitched down and I'm just lifting up the edges and just adding a bit of extra um, sort of distress to them. Again, I like that extra texture. I really don't go for anything really, really flat on a layout other than when I'm obviously doing something like the December album because um, I need to keep things a little flatter because I need to get 31 pages into a December album. So that's actually quite hard because I do like distressing and layering and adding foam, you know, sticky foam, etc, etc. So I'm just going to tidy up all the threads and pull them through and um, stick them just at the back. So I think here we go. I've got all of that done. I'm just having a look at the two photos because I'm going to look at mounting them on one of the patterned papers. So I'm going to go with this sort of cross check gingham look paper here. Um, for both of my photos and then I'm also going to add some of the white tissue as well but I do that off camera um, because I do fiddle around with it actually so just get these two on here distress the edges as usual and then um, I think here we go they're 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 all ready with the white tissue behind it again just another sort of textured effect um to add to the um to the layout now i'm just pulling out some just white paint just watering it down because i'm just going to add white splatters onto the um two lots of colored strips i'm just getting that um liquid enough so it's you know creates some nice nice splatters all around so getting that all onto the two and then i accidentally put a big blob there you go I'm actually trying to wipe it up and as much as it's just white of course whites are never the same are they so I'm like looking at it thinking that's really obvious anyway I, I fix that a little bit later you'll see so adding all the um lot of white splatters just on there just over the pattern papers and then I'm just going to give it a quick dry with my heat gun um so I can keep working on the layout so all dry um here just placing the photos I think I'm going to get those sort of stuck down now um, get them into place just looking at where the pines the little mini pines are going to go and I think yeah I'm going to pop that one up the top there just to create a bit of a sort of um, a triangle of embellishments around the two photos so I'm pulling out some of the stickers um, matching stickers from the photo play frost of all collection just working out which ones I'm going to use of course there was a, there was a sweater on there perfect well, I wouldn't call it exactly an ugly one but anyway it was a sweater so I definitely had to add that and then pulling out some of those round snowflake stickers and the words chill out but I think I changed chill out and I use um, cozy a little later so 
I'm going to get the two photos down. So again, adding some uh, sticky back phone to the top of the two photos, but I keep them flat at the bottom. That just allows me to add embellishments around the bottom of the um, photos much easier, which I do with the uh, mini pines. One of them overlaps the photo on the left. So get. I'm going to just get the ugly fuzzy sweater perspectives stuck down with um, glossy accents like I always use gives it a nice strong bond get those um, stuck in place and then I can start to have a look at the other embellishments and get them into place so happy with that just checking it's all straight I should really go wonky um, well not so much the words but I was looking at it I was really layering you know lining up all the strips etc I probably should just have a go and just do it wonky one time because that's you know just not me but challenge myself to go outside of my absolutely perfect straight lines etc trimming off the excess white around the sticker here and I'm just sort of going around that um, one of the arms there because I just want that sort of layer over the photo slightly um, <clears throat> Just working out where that's going to go get that little pine there no having a quick look to see if i should put it somewhere else but no it's going to stay up the top there still playing around with that the words chill out and here we go i think i've got them oh no maybe i haven't stuck them down yet i'm not sure anyway right pull out a trusty punch i've had for forever but it's a great and I love it, it's a big snowflake one, but I'm really making a bit of a mess of that card, card stock there, um, getting them out, but the snowflakes are absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna spritz them with a light sort of shimmer. It's really not, there's no color to it, it's a really light sort of goldy shimmer, just to add a little bit of extra sparkle. Um, so, and then just dry those off. And um, yeah, quickly there with a bit of kitchen towel. Oh, now I'm going to bring in the heat tool as well just to make sure they're completely dry. And then I can get them placed around the um, layout. And I just, I felt that it just needed a little bit more. And they just add the right extra amount of um, detail, but without taking away from the main part, the layout. So I'm just going to get them placed around, um, around. Okay. Oh, I haven't added, I haven't stuck down the mini pines. So I'm getting those stuck down too now also obviously with the glossy accents give it a nice secure secure bond so they in no way move and then um, I think that top one as well yeah I hadn't stuck those down in fact I'm not sure if I've stuck any of the others no I think I've got to stick down the all of them um, and then now straight away get those snowflakes stuck down then I can trim them off shortly and um, pop them around. I do add an extra snowflake to the top left of the black and white photo because I did think it didn't look quite balanced. So I do bring another one in, but I do that off camera. And um, then I think here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to get those little snowflake stickers stuck down, but I'm just removing a bit of the stick and I'm going to add um, some sticky foam onto the back of them so that they're sort of raised up slightly again just adds a little bit of extra dimension and it's a little bit better because I've got quite a lot of like distressed rough edges there so they sit nicely over that get that top one done and I think I've got to do the um the jumper the sweater sticker as well oh, just deciding where that one goes and then I'll stick this the sweater sticker down um, again flat on the bottom and I'll just add some sticky foam to the top of the sweater um just to um see it so it's, it lifts up and it also sits up just slightly over that mini pine perspective and then i'm almost done i do go back and add a few jewels um pretty sparkly sort of green jewels to the center of the snowflakes and around the layout and i of course add some journaling just um below where the title is so i think i'm almost there yeah just trimming off the edges of those um snowflakes that overlapped but yes, yeah, the last few bits I'm just going to do, I'll do off camera and you will see a close up coming soon. Oh, I just popped a little bit extra glue under that one. OK. Oh, red heart. I do add a red heart, actually, because I felt like I needed a bit more red down the bottom. There you go. You can see it just down there. OK, and there's some close up um, pics coming up now. The ugly, fuzzy sweater perspectives from the Festive Words set. And there you can see the mini pines from the um, set, which is also from the uh, 
fab winter collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the process video. I'll see you in the next video.